Renowned sculptor Glenna Goodacre has called New Mexico home for years. Her art is praised around the country. Tonight, Action 7 News reporter Megan Cruz takes you to Washington, D.C. to see how one of Goodacre's sculptures still moves people decades later. It's, it's just so real. The sandbags and everything. Larry Brower and Robert Brawlier. I want to go over here and look at this. Served together in Vietnam, the sights, sounds, and smells of the battlefield still haunting them all these years later. Painful. Mm -hmm. They suppress those today to honor the women who served in Vietnam beside them. I can't imagine. They must have PTSD too, a lot of them. I would imagine they do from seeing all this and, and taking care of these guys that were in pieces. Nearly 10,000 women served as nurses in the Vietnam War. Brower owes his life to some of them after a fellow soldier stepped on a landmine. My team leader stepped on it and I was in front of him. Brower was hospitalized. I was there for about a month and I saw nurses there and I appreciated them. Their contributions finally recognized in 1993 with the Vietnam Women's Memorial in Washington, D.C. The woman whose hands sculpted this powerful piece. That one means the most to me. Glenna Goodacre of Santa Fe. Everybody knows about Vietnam but they don't know the women who served. Over 300 people competed for the chance to make this memorial. Goodacre actually finished third, but when the other two didn't cut it. I said, well, okay, I'll try this. She went through dozens of drafts before organizers picked the final design. What made it challenging? To satisfy all the women. There were so many that I got to know. You could tell how they were so emotional about serving. Goodacre says each woman in the memorial represents an important virtue, charity, faith, and hope. The soldier survives because of them. Goodacre is also known for the Sacagawea dollar coin and more than 500 other sculptures, but this memorial. Would you say that this was one of your most gratifying sculptures ever? Uh-huh. Why yes. is that? Because it meant so much to so many people. Including Brower and his family. In Washington, D.C., Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News.